we're getting ready to start here with this nice with this draw between it looks like uh, Ashley Thurston's taking the draw for Lake Highland I'm trying to see if that's Manginus for American Heritage Delray it does look like her on Manginus going to Louisville along with Allegro Catalana Allegro Catalana excuse me Fighting for possession here. It looks like it's going to be a white ball. Self-start's going to be a big factor in this game with the speed of the game. Our new rule this year in, in uh, high school lacrosse. Expecting something completely different from what we saw in the first game. Very good crowd here. Some dark clouds off to our east. Looks like some rain coming in off the Atlantic. We sit here adjacent just to the south of Florida Atlantic University here in beautiful Boca Raton. There is rain all around us, but as of right now, the weather is absolutely gorgeous. This is number was number 16 for Lake Highland Prep. And that's uh, Jackie Norsworthy. She is uh, a Florida commit, and just uh, I know she's a junior this year. She really jumped off the screen to me last year in this game um, when they played in the semifinals, uh, in the finals, actually. Uh, she's, a, she's a great, great player, uh, very talented, and uh, going to add a lot to Florida when she gets there in a couple of years. We want to apologize in advance. Lake Highland Prep's roster is slightly off kilter. There were a ton of changes. So we're just going to try and keep you up to speed as best as possible as the night progresses. Working it around Thurston's pass is intercepted by number 13, Megan Maginus. She gets it ahead quickly to Peyton Wayman. Peyton Wayman, the midi, with number 22 working on her. Sarah Corny. Here we go with Warsberger with her first possession of the game. Now Kylie Hazen's a Georgetown commit, number 21 for American Heritage, and she's just, uh, I've known Kylie for a very long time since she was uh, uh, playing in rec league, and she is just a, an explosive player. Uh, she's actually 24, she has the ball right now. 21 is uh, Sarah, one of the Pomisano twins. Both the Palmasana twins going to Denver. Good oh. feet in there. It's, and Manginus is stopped at point blank range. Kick save by Ava Sweeney. Well, it could be Reagan Alexander. I'm not actually sure because the, the numbers aren't matching here. But. Kate Hanlon is listed as number four. And that one is good. Italians on the board first. Again, we've got all kinds of roster issues. We're going to do our best to stay with it. Yeah, definitely reaching over the back. So, very quick start. That's Anna Pomisano with possession right now and just doing uh, just. Smart to slow the ball down there. Stallions setting up their offense. Great cut by Caitlin Wurzberger in there. Wurzberger's well, shot is over the top of the net. That's a solid left-handed. Backed up nicely by Allegra Catalano. And here we go. Caitlin's going to have a, a shot here at the free position. Wurzberger going at Hamlin. Hamlin in cage. And Hamlin on the stop. I like the idea that she had there, but uh, just a little bit off target. She will collect it. Move it along to Marissa Ferris. Ferris will get it out quickly. And this is number 14. Isabella Elzarki. Olivia Adamson. Number 11, Mary Sosby. It's number one, Jordan Reamer working on her. Nice job by Reamer to keep her out there at a distance. Yeah, Reamer's a great, great defender, especially at the crease, going to Cincinnati. Um, Again, another one I've known since she's real little and, and just love watching her 
grow up on the field and doing such a great job back there. And that one is picked off by Peyton Wayman. Nice job of breaking up that entry pass into the crease. Nice transition here, heading over to Manginis, who's going to bring that ball up for the Stallions. She's a senior going to Louisville and just a, has been a solid player. He used to play a lot of soccer and has uh, transitioned over to lacrosse, I would say, pretty much full time, but you can definitely see her soccer style. Um, and just a, a, an incredibly hard worker for uh, American Heritage, has been for the past four years. A, a great leader. Caitlin Wurzberger is going to do her thing behind the cage. Very hard to keep up with her speed and her shiftiness back there. Nice job on defense, though, by Lake Kylan. And the Lady Stallions have a whistle on the play. Looks like Scroggie's going to get a, uh, Nicole Scroggie going to BU. She's going to get a nice free position opportunity here. So we'll see if she can come up with a stop. Uh, nice check at the last second. And that looks like that's going to be white ball, white ball. It's the person that's the player that's closest to the ball when it crosses the line. And that for sure was a good effort on, uh, Lake Highlands Park, Kate Hanlon, nice chase behind the cage. I believe we may have sorted our roster situation out, hopefully for those of you watching at home. I believe it was Riley Alexander that just turned the ball over there. Quickly but the other way, Allegra Catalano. This is number 15, Caitlin Wurzberger. Wurzberger going to UNC Chapel Hill. Yes, she sure is. She had her, when you say she had her choices, she had some fantastic choices. Of i got to believe if you settled on Chapel <laughs> Hill, you probably had the pick of the list. She really did, uh, and, and well-deserved. But a, a great, great player and um, has done a great thing with our sport for uh, down here in Florida and has really uh, set such a high standard for everybody. We are in a rematch of the 2018 state final in which American Heritage defeated Lady Highlanders 10-7 to last year. Kind of, again, what we would maybe consider the de facto state championship in this game, but that's no slight to Benjamin, who is a worthy opponent waiting for one of these two teams. Very true. Uh, like I said, I would never bet against uh, Sarah Burlingame and, and what she can do. Um, she always gets the most out of her players, so uh, I think they'll be up for the challenge tomorrow and looking forward to the opportunity to play in the state championship. How, how, how exciting is that? Extremely exciting, and that will be played at 8 o'clock tomorrow night in the prime time underneath the lights. Boys will play at four and six. We will have that on the NFHS network. And we have a three-second call on um, on Lake Island right there, which is uh, pretty interesting because I thought she was outside the eight meter, but that's okay. They called it, and here we go. And working her way through there is Greenman. Yeah, she had some contact. Uh, she's definitely trying to penetrate the top of the top of the key there and we'll see what she does here with this preposition. She's young but she is a strong player. Fantastic crowd here on hand tonight here at Boca Raton High. A lot of people of course this is basically a home game for the Lady Stallions. Absolutely. Rainman Stonewall by number four Reagan Alexander. Nice job by the junior keeper in the cage. Yep that was a great stop. A, a little uh, not really changing the levels right there by, by Wayman, but that's okay. I'm sure she's going to get another opportunity. And uh, like I said, she's a young player for American Heritage, but, but a great contributor all over the field. Sosby up ahead. This is number 16, Have Morsworthy, the UF commit. It's number 21. Looks like Norsworthy is going to get a free position shot here, which and she's a she's dangerous with the ball, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that happens. This is Norsworthy, and she is good. And 
Norsworthy's up with it for the Lady Highlanders. That's number 18, Ash Ainsley third. Thurston. Yep, she's a Duke commit, another super solid player from Lake Highland Prep. Uh, I expect to see a lot out of her tonight, uh, leadership and, and uh, just composure all over the field. She's a, she's a very, very solid contributor for, for Lake Highland. Northworthy, number 16, the Gator commit. Ashley Thurston over to number 18. Her sister. To her sister Ainsley, yep. who is money good. And puts the Lady Highlanders now ahead, two to one. natural fit for Florida State to have uh, to be a part of one of the most prestigious conferences in the, in the entire sport. Absolutely. Uh, Up ahead good. quickly to number 20 Allegra Catalano. That was, uh, that was just a heads up play. First and that'll get Scooped up by number 25, Casey Roberts. Casey Roberts, another freshman for uh, American Heritage. Picked off nicely there by number 14, Riley Alexander. Yeah. Uh, good pursuit by Riley. I mean, uh, by Kylie Hazen. Got a little bit too close to the head, I think. But, um, but a nice ride by American Heritage. We'll see if they can slow him down here. Quick start here. This is Sosby. Officials not liking the, the close contact, I guess, but um, there's going to be a lot of it, so hopefully we won't have too many whistles during this game. Caliber of these two teams, you're going to expect when when the skill sets are virtually even, you gotta got to physically impose your will. That's right, and uh, and these, these girls are, are prepared for it, that's for sure. They are very well prepared on both sides. Um, both coaches are, are seasoned in this game. Good defense there by the Stallions to break it up. Oh. And Johnny on the spot almost though is Picorni. Yeah, that was a that was a great little stick work by Sarah Picorni, but uh, oh, didn't little little hockey action didn't cash in, but that, that was a heads up play too. And thankfully for American Heritage, Chloe was ready for that that low shot right there. Kylie Hazen just streaking down the field. Excellent speed right there. Lady Stallions in transition with the quickness. Yeah, Hazen's going to Georgetown and, and just is really a strong, strong player uh, all over the field. Definitely attacking, uh, attacking, but she's always involved in the ride as well, which is which is so important. And I know Ricky Freed at Georgetown is going to love that about her because he's all about the ride. So stop the play here. Sort a few things out. Clock is running. Under 13 minutes to go here in the first half. Been a well played 12 minutes here in this second semifinal. Winner advancing to face the Benjamin Lady Buccaneers tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Hazen from the wing. Hazen. Kylie Hazen. Looking for Casey Roberts. Yep. Looks like they're running their second midfield right now for American Heritage. Um, which is great. They're a nice, a deep talent pool that they can choose from and, and give uh, lots of players some time here. Ainley Heisinga, number 27 out there on the wing. This is number 15, Caitlin Wurzberger. Wurzberger looping around. She's got the flag. And draws the flag. There she goes. Did a good job of coaxing Isabella Elzarki into that foul. And Great save. 
Excellent save right there by number four, Reagan Alexander, for Lake Highland. Lady Highlanders from out of Orlando. American Heritage from just down the road, just north of us here in Delray Beach. Yeah, just, that was a, oh, Pomisano just had a key ground ball and then mishandled it in the middle there, so I'm sure she wished she had that back. Uh, Sarah Pomisano just could not keep it right where she needed it to be. No. A lot of, a lot of speed. You can almost tell the difference almost night and day compared to our first game and that's again it's not a slight right. to either one of those teams but you see just how elite the talent really is the minute somebody gets a ball close down oh, absolutely they, they close the distance quickly and um, speed is, is the number one word with these both of these teams Sophia Patino so wow it looks like they're parting Allegra Catalano for um, not really sure what Everybody knows who he is, so it's pretty exciting to see what Lake Highland's going to do with this um, with this leadership. And they, they again under Laura last year gave such a great a great uh, fight. So this is going to be a really really good game. What's that say for our state that we're drawing coaches from elite schools along the Eastern Seaboard? Yeah. And nice beautiful goal there by number 16, Jackie Norsworthy. Beautiful transition. And then just the stop and pop, essentially. Yeah. She, she's hard to stop and, and um, probably need to have a, a quicker slide on that just to slow her down a little bit, get in her way. Elite schools along the eastern seaboard. Well, I think, you know, I would I would say that we've definitely gotten on the map with the, with the collegiate level, with, with recruiting coming down here. Um, I would say one of our number one sales pitches for, for Florida is the weather. Right. Uh, you know, you don't have to deal with the snow and, and all that stuff but as you do up up north. So, um, but yeah, I think that, that we've we've attracted talent from college coaches and now high school coaches are just saying, hey, I want to see what's, what Florida is all about, which is nice. It's nice to have um, not only players come down here but definitely and college coaches come down to see our players but also have these these very talented coaches at the high school level come down and, and, uh, and be a part of Florida lacrosse. The East Stallions setting up their offense. This is Peyton Wayneman back and forth with Anna Palmasano. Palmasano a twin. Her sister Sarah, they're both going to the University of Denver next year. Yeah, Heritage is going to be pretty two good. Years. Two years, yeah, they're juniors. Yeah, we have all of the the coaches in the area know how old these girls they'd like are. to get them, yeah they'd <laughs> like to for them to be seniors and reclassify uh, absolutely they're uh we have another year to, to battle them so but you know what we we all all of the coaches in they make area, you better they make us better i play them 10 games if i could just to get our, our team better and better and um it's a it's a it's a great challenge for us and and we learn so there's no better way to uh prepare these kids for the game and also for life in my opinion American Heritage kind of just kind of make you know, moseying along. They're going to possess. The, this is what they did last year. I remember a lot of the strategy that, that American Heritage had was time possession, and uh, and they're going to make sure that they are holding the ball as long as they're not being challenged. They're going to eat up as much time as they can, and then see what they what they can do. And, and we don't have a shot clock. So. And this can have just as much of a mental effect because it now they're not doing. If you're a Lake Highland defender. You want them to be doing the opposite of that. You don't want them just standing there because now you're getting bored. And there, just like that, you lull them to sleep. Played so far these first 16 minutes and change. Thoroughly enjoyed. The action so far this afternoon and evening. It's Wayman with the ball again. Great, great draw possession from, from her and you know, running through the ball, getting to space and uh, relaxing, which was good. This is Kylie Hazen. This is where Delray kind of went into there on their last possession. They went into kind of a stall, almost like a lull you to sleep. Stall, four corners from hoops. Yep. And 
just kind of sends that defense into almost like a, a little bit of a trance. We'll see who they who they quarterback with it this time. Oh, they're shifting it from the top now. They're changing their their approach and their drive. Palmasano Anna Palmasano with the twist, trying to work on number 18 Ainsley Thurston. Nothing doing. No, Ashley Thurston looks like she got called for three seconds, which means you're you're in that eight meter on marking or not marking a, a, a player for three seconds, and that's not allowed and uh, puts her behind. Palmasano right now. So we've got a pair of Thurstons with a Palmasano in the middle. Mm -hmm. This is Wayman over to Palmasano. Anna over to Kylie Hazen. It's number 15, Caitlin Wersberger. Wersberger, the Chapel Hill commit, University of North Carolina. Up to the point. Charging in from the point man, Ginnis which can be very frustrating for I would imagine. the attacking team here. So she's going to have to cash this in again. And she's a great player and, and is capable, but you, know, you, want, you want that first goal to count. Nothing is guaranteed. Yeah, and that's you want it to say, for that smart. very reason right there, right? Yeah, and that was a smart thing to do. She got collapsed on by the defense, and then, you know, that's her senior smart leadership right there to bring the ball right out and say, okay, let's let's cash it in to the count at this time. And maybe they'll count that. <laughs> oh, that was great. Under six minutes to play here in the first half. And that one's picked up by Anna Palmasano, and we are quickly headed towards the yeah. Kyle Annette. have ourselves a penalty on the play yeah and as we saw before in the first game she's not coming back on until those two minutes are up she is not this is a, a, a non-releasable penalty that uh, that she's gonna have to sit for you know 120 seconds and that could be a lot of goals if that American could be heritage. three to four goals in American <laughs> Heritage standard yeah that's true number 15 Caitlin Wersberger excellent stop and start skill change of pace change of motion Wurzberger working behind the cage. Three seconds again, which is going to put the man down by two uh, in positioning right there. Um, that Wurzberger. might be getting called a lot tonight. Almost another call right there. Wurzberger setting up, trying to get something. And Alexander says, ah, this one's mine. Yeah, I think that that's definitely scouted well. The, the Wurzberger to Allegra Catalano pass. Um, Oh, they blocked it. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be – that was probably a scouted play by, by Reagan Alexander. Nice nice move by the goalie. That's two intercepted passes in her, by her now. So she's pretty active with her stick. Um, she, she did make a move in the self-start. But they're, but they're allowing her to have another opportunity with the ball. So Caitlin tried to get the ball back from her. There we go. Now the play starts. And ahead. Ellie Alexander. Oh. Johnny on the spot, though. Ashley Thurston. That will be a, a huge play right there. If they, if they turn the ball back over, it would be great for American Heritage. But they, I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see if Lake Highland will kill the penalty or, or try to go ahead and score. Uh, Norsworthy with the ball. That's dangerous. Norsworthy. And it's in for a Lake Highland goal. Excellent job there by Jackie Northworthy, the University of Florida commit. Got to think that's a huge get for University of Florida, such a new program like that as well. Yeah, well, the University of Florida has been doing quite well in, in, in lacrosse since they've um, broken into the game here. But uh, I think that they're going to need somebody like Jackie Northworthy. They're going to be really happy to have her watching her play this game. They're going to they're going to be pretty excited for that talent to to show up in Gainesville. You know, and I've seen it on the football side. I've seen it in the basketball. Players of that caliber can open up pipelines to high schools as well. Absolutely. And that's not a bad pipeline to open up to Lake Highland Prep if you're at the University of Florida. That's true. Great school, great program. Uh, it looks like we're going to even up the score here. Uh, Nicole Scroggie is going off for two minutes for a check to the head. So while... We'll play even for a couple of minutes. We might be a man. Actually, I think we're back to even all. But now, so now American Heritage is playing man down for two. That's tough. 
with possession. Norrisworthy out to Ainsley Thurston. Yeah, she's back on the field. That penalty is definitely done. So uh, and this is a man-up opportunity for, oh, wow. What a Unforced break. Unforced error right there. Mary Silsby, the pass from Olivia Adamson. And quickly the other way now. Lady Stallions, Jordan Reamer. Yep, Jordan Reamer, nice handle with the ball. Great hustle to self-start that quickly. Um, Sarah Allen with the ball there. And that's... And that's a Lake Highland goal off the yeah. turnover. Unforced errors will get you beat. Well, I bet you Sosby feels better now because she just mishandled the ball back there, went out, and it was a turnover. And then she's the one that was in the right spot to put the ball in the cage for it Lake Highland preps. Thurston and Manginis. Excuse me, that was Ainsley Heisdinga on the draw. Draw much this year, but I'm sure uh, they have depth at every position. Last name Heisinga, very familiar to South Florida. Too many schools in our area, that's true. Very generous man yes. on top of the fact he was the owner of the Miami Dolphins and Blockbuster, Mr. Wayne Heisinga. That's very true. Very much like George Steinbrenner was to the Tampa area. That's right. That man gave millions and millions of dollars behind the scenes. So Lake Highland's going to be man up still for a little bit longer here, and that's unsettling, I'm sure, for American Heritage, but see if they can uh, they can hold them off here. That would be great. Northworthy had a look at it. Gave it up to number 18, Ainsley. Ainsley Thurston, who finishes the job. And the Lady Highlanders now first team to take a two-goal lead. Islanders just took a two-goal lead. Beautiful crowd out here tonight. Beautiful evening for lacrosse. Oh, that's a push. Yeah, and he called it. Good. So quick start here. Lady Stallions back on the move. Number 21, Sarah Palmasano. Approaching two minutes to play here in the half. So they definitely are going to try to take some time off of this penalty. I'm sure it looks like they're only about another 15 seconds left before we're all even. Uh, and I think they're going to try to make sure this is a 7v7 matchup rather than a 6v7. And it should be all even right now. So here she comes. Here she comes. Back on onto the field. And this is number four, Anna Palmasano. Palmasano attacking from the wing. Stops, pivots, moves back into the middle. Nothing doing. Peyton Wayman, nothing doing. Slipped on her back foot. And quickly the other way. Quickly the other way. This is number 22, Sarah Picorni out quickly for the Lady Highlanders. Yeah, that was a great ground ball on Picorni's part. And, and, um, and unfortunate that Wayman slipped on that I think she just lost her footing and then the ball popped out so uh, more work for American Heritage defense right here but they are up to the task I'm sure. The corny over to Aunt Ashley Thurston over to her sister Ainsley. This is Ainsley Thurston. 45 seconds remaining in the game in the first half. I think they're going to hold for a last shot here. It's just similar to basketball, you kind of take advantage of the possession. Got to be careful with that stick. Very, very close to drawing a foul on that. Right. You don't want to be man down again. So, um, nice job there by number 22, Picorni, trying to work her way back in the middle. Quickly to Ainsley Thurston, quickly over to Norsworthy. 15 seconds now. Ashley Thurston. If they're going to get a shot off, it's going to have to be soon. But it'd be great for American Heritage if they hold off on it. That'd be great. And they have no North shot. Northworthy. And that will do it for the end of the first half.
start back up here momentarily. That one looked pretty good. It was good for, it looked like it was good for Heritage, but went on uh, right, right to the stick of Jackie Norsworthy, who's somebody you don't want to have the ball if you're American Heritage. Norsworthy on the drive. That was really good defense by Sarah Allen. Nice, nice handle on that drive. Reese starting to pick up just a little bit. We'll see some patience on the part of L.A. Kylan Prep. This, well, definitely in this possession already, they're demonstrating some patience. They're going to make American Heritage come get the ball if they want it. So um, kind of from the playbook of John McLean's uh, state championship game last year. I mean, if it works. It worked last year for him, so why not use it? A lot of these coaches, a lot of, I mean, you see it in the professional leagues all the time. It's its an imitation league. No, oh, absolutely. It's definitely a form of flat flattery. I'll take it. If you can do it and it works, it's a good thing to do. Quick stoppage on that. And we're back. It's number one, Ashley Thurston. Oh, that was that was good defense, but uh, she's going to get a, a, another chance at putting this away. Thurston, and that one's good. Megan Manginis in the navy blue for American Heritage. In the white, number one, Ashley Thurston in the draw. There we go, Megan Manginis, nice draw control there. She will be smart with the ball. Oh, they sh they ought to let her keep playing on that. That's a the self start is such a it's such a judgment call by the officials. Her feet have to got to go stationary momentarily, which it looked like they did. She's just she's just fast, so it's a little frustrating because it slows them down. It looks like they might be face guarding Caitlin Warsberger. Uh, try to deny her the ball, which definitely is a strategy many teams try to do, something that she's used to. Casey Richburg has that job. That doesn't look like that's, that's, a, that's a hard job to do. Hazen is denied. Wow. So Hazen drives and, and uh, gets collapse on, and there's a no call, which is uh, sure frustrating for the uh, American Heritage fans. I think when you've reached the success that American Heritage has at 22 and one, everything's got to frustrate you if it's not easy. Oh, well, right. You know, and and you know they are they compete no matter what. This team is so well coached and they have such talent. But they're I know that they're probably not used to being down um, a few goals in, in any games. They like you said, they only lost that one game. Uh, this year and, uh, and to McDonough to Mc ironically ironically yes the former school of coach Chris Robinson now opposite sideline at Lake Highland Prep exactly and we're just and we're gonna have to start we have to maintain composure in this situation I, and I think that heritage doesn't have much practice in that this year just because they really truly haven't had to they're so, right you they're haven't so had dominant. any adversity whatsoever right um, so hopefully these these girls can can do that and, um, and, and keep it close and, and make run to make it back American Heritage, 19 to two winners over Kings Academy, 19 to two over Pinecrest, 22 uh, to six over St. Thomas Aquinas, and here we are. So, it has not been the hardest of routes. It has not, um, and you know, despite all of our efforts, I mean, listen, the, you know, we're all we try very hard to challenge <laughs> this team. I tell you, right? But um, they're just so good, and that's a testament to John McLean and what he's done uh, with his program, and. Um, to see them be challenged like this is, is good, uh, but I definitely want to see them maintain composure, some poise in this situation, and, and, and give them, and gain some, some ground back on the scoreboard, I hope. Well, the Lake Highland resume, pretty impressive in and of itself. Claremont Absolutely. Eastridge, 24-2 in the first round. The next two rounds possibly are what were most impressive. Bishop Moore, 14-4. 
and Tampa Plant, 16-5. to Sure. That's, you know, in name and on, on paper, that's supposed to not be that far apart in, in the difference of score. That's a very impressive run for Lake Highland. That's true. Uh, I think I, I would speculate that both teams probably can put more goals on the, on the board than they do. Um, and I think it's a, you know, they, they take it easy for lack of a better term, on some of the, right. the less experienced players and teams, which, I, you know, which is sportsmanlike. And that one is down the wickets. They have it in them. I have no question about that. American Heritage is, is beyond talented. So um, we just got to get possession of the ball here and, um, and and not give them the advantage with fouls. And I think that's what's killing them right now is uh, the fouls that they're – it's just working against them, uh, the little, little push fouls and stuff that the, that the officials are, are calling, and you have to adjust to what the officials are doing, and, and they're, not, they're not having it. So hopefully American Heritage can, can – have a different strategy when it comes to getting the ball back. This is Ashley Thurston, her sister Ainsley, just to her left. She chooses to go down in behind the cage to Mary Sosby. Here comes Ainsley Thurston. The Kylan looked like they had something over there with number 20. Olivia Adamson didn't work. Closed down nicely by the American Heritage defense. Right, and they, they're they're usually proficient at that, that closing the door and not letting anybody in. So um, I'm expecting to see a little bit more of that. Ainsley Thurston. Thurston. Doing a simple three-man ball movement. Little game of keep away is, is frustrating for the defense and really hard. Uh, that was nice D to slow that down by Sarah Allen, by uh, Jackie Norsworthy had a little drive going and, and they closed the door on it, but, which was nice. But they maintained possession of the ball and that's really, um, with a game like this, you, you, the seconds are gonna matter. Picorni, Sarah Picorni. Oh. Got a free know. shot right towards the goal. I thought she was going to take that herself. I did too, but uh, that, it, not a great angle, and she probably thought better of it, which was smart to main, maintain possession. If it's a shot and a save, it's a turnover. So I'm sure Coach Robinson has, has said that. She made a we over me decision. That's right, there. right. Lake Highland with a commanding eight to four lead right now. This this game is what it has reflected on the scoreboard in the second half. It has been all Lake Highland so far out the gate. It has, and they're possessing it, and that's a big, if they can come up with a ground ball there, that'd be huge. But um, this is what's going to have to happen, because I think Lake Highland is going to uh, possess the ball as much as they can to take, take time off that clock, and it's, it's working. Nice spin move there by Picorni. This is number 11, Mary Sosby. Ainsley Thurston. See any options on the peripheral, but oh, there she goes, possessing the ball. Yep. That's smart. And, uh, and frustrating if you're in the blue. <laughs> and that's a nice move right there for number 11, Mary Sosby. Lady Highlanders in full control of this game at the moment through the first eight minutes and change of the second half. The score was six to four at the half. Lady Highlanders on a 3-0 run right now.
Hershberger against Thurston for the draw. Kylan successfully wins that. Johnny on the spot. Jackie Nursworthy. Yeah, she's she's just so strong at that position. She's got a great start. Uh, definitely takes off so quickly that it's hard for somebody to catch up to and, and uh, definitely beat her opponent on the, on the draw circle right there. So big possession here for Lake Island Prep. And, and uh, now it's a battle again for the, them to get the ball back to American Heritage. Not a, not a great position to be in, that's for sure. Adamson. Thought about it. Shake and bake. Thirst. Ashley Thirst. Nothing doing. No. Closed out nicely by the American Heritage defense. Norseworthy. So they did a nice little change up, putting Ky Kylie Hayes and went over to, to try to get the ball back for them. You're going to have to put your best, your best defensive players in that area. Those who have the energy to, to run around a little bit and, and to get the ball back. And there it goes, right there. But a nice big play by there. Reamer. Great job by Jordan Reamer to get the ball back. Literally taking it right out of her stick. Okay, and now the Nicole Scroggy has got to get the ball up the field and take care of it. Up ahead to Manginas, okay. who now finds per Sarah Pulisic. Palmis excuse me. Palmisano. Palmisano. That's right. I'll get it right one of these times. Yeah, lots of syllables in that one. But she's going to... Um, Settle the ball down a little bit for, for Heritage, which is slowing the ball down and uh, waiting for their opportunity. So we'll see what they do here. Yeah, they're looking to feed from up top. There we go. To get the ball to Caitlin, who's now open. And. Where's Berger? And, they, and that's just not a great call to make in that situation that takes away the advantage of the person with the ball which is so incredibly frustrating when you're a coach uh, it put her the defender in a better position to defend it and it's just very frustrating not not the not the game to do that in Caitlin Wurzberger behind the cage so they're putting somebody there in a the backer zone right there. There's got to be at least two people in three seconds. I would, I can, I can see it from here. Lady Stallion setting up shop. Kylie Hazen. Here is Hazen. That's a redodge right there. She can handle it. Yeah, she, she did. Man genius. To Anna Palmasano. And Gina's ducking. Thought Palmasano was going to maybe do a little something. Peyton Wayman. This is number 21, Sarah Palmasano. Now Wurzberger. Yeah, they're not calling that both ways, that's for sure. That's, a, that's frustrating. Wurzberger just harassed every time she gets close to the crease. And they're going to keep her out there with somebody right in front. They're going to have to fix that official, officials wise. That's not the way it should be set up. So hopefully they'll change that. Wurzberger. Again, with the push. And referees blow their whistle. Yeah, I think they're they're doing a good job, uh, Lake Highland Prep, in, in in getting in getting in her area and, and making her work. But she's going to do it. Ground ball run in possession right there, and um, that's going to work well for Lake Highland Prep right there. Approaching, we are halfway through, waiting on the water break. That'll be our next stoppage of play.
right. Action back underway. Crunch time is upon us here in the second semifinal between the Lady Highlanders of Lake Highland Prep and the Lady Stallions of American Heritage Delray. Two nationally ranked teams, top ten nationally ranked teams at that. Jordan Reamer, just another just critical, crucial takeaway take right there. Just unbelievable. Um, way to get the ball out. She just took it away and, and got it upfield. And this is, oh, wow. Wow, nice uh, transition. A little risky pass there by, uh, by Zinga, but it, it paid off for Wurzberger. She's got the ball. So let's see what happens here with American Heritage Delray. Caitlin so, so poised with the ball, and just I can see her looking to find somebody to pass the ball to. And uh, look at that, a three-seconds call. The, the, the repetitive foul issue here, this is going to be a critical part of this game because if they keep getting called for three seconds, that could, that could turn into a card. And uh, I'm sure Coach McLean is going to voice his opinion on that because that turns out to be a time killer uh, when you right. keep getting three seconds calls. It, it wastes the clock. So uh, I'm, he won't be shy about it. You know, sharing his opinion on that, I'm sure. We do not get extra time, stoppage time, like in soccer. Wow. That'll be a turnover headed back in Lake Highland's favor. That's, uh, that's something. Quickly down the field is Sophia Patino. And that's definitely Mangina's using her soccer skills. And they can't possibly call that one, but they are. Uh, that was great, great defense. Crowd none too pleased. No, that's uh, that, that's pretty frustrating. Ashley Thurston up ahead. She's got Adamson on her wing. And here we go with Horseworthy. Uh, this is where it gets exhausting for the uh, defense, but but this team is so well conditioned that I think that they'll be up to the task. Gonna run a little three-man weave, essentially. Use your space, possess the ball, no turnovers. That's the recipe right now for Lake Island Prep. And they're not gonna look to shoot unless they have a, a, a really solid lane to goal. Lake Highland trying yeah, to nice see check. this one through. And that's a huge ground ball right there, and then they're not actually going to call it. Okay, they did call it for American Heritage Delray that time, which was good. It's just the clock's going to work against them eventually, so we got to get this moving. And they did give it back to Lake Highland Prep. These are some big calls to make in this game. Wow. That's very frustrating as you're if you're wearing blue tonight. Still have to overcome it. Got to have to have to keep going. Almost a giveaway there for the Lady Highlanders. We retain possession though. This is Ashley Thurston. And we're gonna get a another foul call. Right, which is again time waster. We have to stay off the body and, and play with your feet and uh, not Allow them to keep stopping the momentum here. Picorni. Picorni. And that one's money good for number 22, Sarah Picorni. They've outscored American Heritage 4-1 to one in this second half. Lady Highlanders and the Lady Stallions, two nationally ranked teams. Lady Stallions defeated the Lady Highlanders last year, 10 to seven in the state finals. Wayman might be a little bit shaken up right now. They should probably stop the clock if she's having a problem. Stop the clock and let her off the field. That's frustrating also, but okay, here we go. Yeah, she's gonna 
hobble off the field. Looks like she's either got a thigh bruise or some sort of uh, cramp or contusion. Or she's got an ankle situation, I think, because she rolled or something. Five, six freshman is Roberts. Seen a lot of freshmen get time in these two semifinals. I tell you, there's a lot of young talent. More and more proof of the club system that they're playing, and then maybe not so good specialization, but they're playing year round nonetheless. That's true. Wow. Hustle there by number 28, Sophia Patino. The Heritage is going to have their work cut out for them now to get the ball back again. They have a great ride, so they have the opportunity. They just got to get there. But yeah, to your point, the specialization is just happening in so many sports, and many of us are still multi-sport fans. So I like to see the kids play more than just one. But the talent here is is a result of a lot of a lot of lacrosse being played all, all year. So. Lady oh. Highlanders on the on the fast break here. Mm -hmm. Ashley Thurston wisely pulls it out. Then heads right back. Does a loop-de-loop -loop off the pole. Unlucky there for Ashley Thurston. Another opportunity here for Heritage to get the ball down the field and cash in. Again, over the crease, bring it back to the goalie. And again, that is a time killer, which is frustrating if you're American Heritage, because you have to wait for the whistle. You're gonna have to get that upfield. Scroggy right now, BU commit had the ball, and she's wisely passed it up to Kylie Hazen. And let's see what Kylie Hazen can do with the ball as she streaks up the field. Here's Hazen from coast to coast virtually. And nothing doing. It looks Super like she'll get a free is. position. We have another opportunity to draw. Under five now to play in this ball game. Hazen. Oh, wow. And Stonewall by Reagan Alexander. Give it to the white, to Lake Highland. So Lake Highland gets a critical possession there. It was a great hustle by number 22. Sarah Picorni. Sarah Picorni. On the spot. She's having a great game tonight. And um, yeah, she out, out sprinted him for the possession because that was a shot and a deflection. Lake Highland. Clock cannot move fast enough for the Lady Highlanders. Looking to avenge their loss in the state title game to American Heritage from last year. Trying to make it to the state title game to face Benjamin. Quick start, self start. Uh, just in a situation where they're going to have to do everything they can. Again, they pulled the goalie, Chloe's out. Um, they, they overloaded, and now they're trying to get possession back, and it looks like they might not be looking to score again. Even um, with a wide open net, there is no the, desire to. They don't need to. You only have to win the, win the game by one. But it does give the, uh, the Heritage a chance to get the ball back if they do, and this is a, a three-and-a-half-minute stall that they certainly can, can execute and exhaust the uh, Heritage defense. Quickly coming on with Sarah Palmasano to force the issue. Was able to get Ainsley Thurston to make a decision, but still the stall continues. Olivia Adamson in the corner. That's number seven, Nicole Scroggy working on her. Excellent athleticism on display from all four teams tonight. If you don't think this sport tests every bit of your cardiovascular endurance, your, your your motor skills, your stop and start, your change of direction. It is 
an unbelievable sport to hone all of your physical skills on. Absolutely, and uh, and and it just shows here. This is such a great example of um, female athleticism that we have down here with all this great training that's going on, and um, you know, on the field and off the field, these girls put in a lot of time and a lot of effort. So. This is a, I, I, it, as a as a coach watching this for American Heritage Del Rey is, is so it, it's it's frustrating because this is I know is a hard thing to to do to chase, um, but as if you're Lake Island you're, you're you're pretty happy right now and you look at the clock and say okay I can we can do this for two more minutes. Excellent jab step there by Adamson. The kind of jab step you see from NBA point guards. Right. And you teach that, you train that. Absolutely, I would. I would love to hear if there's other players that if these players play any other sports. Um, you know, you don't know. I would. I would think. I don't know if they have enough time in the day to do it. Skills are on the field. So. Time running out on the Lady Stallions. Calling a push, so it's going to maintain with the Lake Highland possession here, and. Uh, they have a minute 35 to, to just hold on to the ball, really. Lake Highland, a minute and a half from facing Benjamin in the state finals. Clock. was found to be illegal, which is the result of the turnover here. Which could work in American Heritage's favor. The clock is not on their side, but you never know. With uh, the talent on this team, I would not ever say they're out of it. Quickly the other way is Wurzberger. Chugging down the field, number 15 from the left side. Thurston harassing her the whole way down. And Ainsley gave a great, great run on that. And that's shooting space. So they're going to get a free position shot here. Um, this is this could be good for them if they get a goal here in possession. Great stop by Alexander. Just great stop. Possession again. The Pomisano possession. Kylie Hazen. And Big collision there, right next to the cage from Thurston. And they're going to put Thurston in the box for the rest of the game. Yeah. Kylie Hayes. And that's good. Oh, she moved. They didn't call it, but she moved. All right, that's a good draw control by Wayman. She's back on the field after her injury. Good she to see her back out there. Yeah. Got to move the ball, though. Got it back. Yeah. Lost it. Got it back. And a quick stoppage in play. Oh, uh, see, under, under two minutes, there is no self-start. It's got to be a whistle start. There we go. They lost two seconds doing that, which is unfortunate. Lake Highland trying to hold on here. Winner faces Benjamin. We're now literally blowing whistles every second. Yep, and that's a shooting space call. And Lake Highland's just jumping in shooting space, stopping the clock. So we'll see what, what happens with, uh, you gotta cash in on this if you're American Heritage. Oh, good chase. Got to stop the clock. The clock should be stopped, and they're not stopping it. And that is four seconds, five seconds, and that's just not good. Clock yeah. stops yeah. again with 28 seconds. 
Lady Highlanders trying to seal the deal here. Wurzberger. Alexander waiting on her challenge. Oh, great save. Unbelievable save by number four, Reagan Alexander. Dare I say it, maybe the MVP of this game. I tell you, I'd I go that way. But I, well, I mean, 10 goals is 10 goals, but let me tell you something. She stopped probably four solid goals that would be scored for American Heritage otherwise. That's right. Which would have us a tie ball game. Yep, and Norsworthy, I think, also definitely in contention for that MVP. And with that, the final buzzer sounds. The American Heritage Lady Stallions season, their dream season coming to an end at 22-2. and two. Lake Highland Prep and first-year head coach Chris Robinson, they move on at 22-2 and two to face Benjamin from out of Palm Beach Gardens tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Of course, we will have that for you on the NFHS Network.